Stag Nation, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a very irrelevant video, at least the content. Charlie Monga is a 99 year old billionaire investor. In Canada, say Charlie. He's about to hit 100 years old, man. Charlie? Triple digits is what is going to be on this man's name. My oh my, God is proud of you, sir. Actually, congratulations for for yeah. for, for hitting ninety nine. Yeah, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Job well done. You made it there. You made it there. You know, that's that's just a ninety nine, bro. You, like you cannot listen when you look at Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett. The stats are very impressive, man. Yeah. Yep. Very successful, man. Aging, massively. Looks you like an aging turtle. Not like fine wine, but they're <laughs> aging and holding, like support. <laughs> on something that is about to have a falling wedge. Have you seen a giant turtle before? His face looks like an aging giant turtle. Jesus Christ. Me. Okay. Well, <laughs> <coughs> listen. This man has made several disparaging comments uh, about Bitcoin. However, his criticism are largely unfounded. No real basis. Crypto. Crypto. Fullness. Us. Crypto. Crypto. <laughs> <laughs> so it is evident that you know Charlie and you know his squadron have yeah. not read the Bitcoin white paper, and it is highly likely that he does not understand basic economics behind Bitcoin. Mm. Even though I understand that you know that can also be argued because he's an educated man, which would mean there might be intellectual dishonesty. As a matter of fact, I think it links more than way than the latter. Can you say that again? Intellectual dishonesty. Intellectual dishonesty. It's a sure. skill. It's a skill that a lot of these bankers have learned, by the way. Oh yeah, a lot of all of them out there. <coughs> yeah, what is that guy? The one I was. Uh, Ray Dalio. Uh, um, what's his name on CNBC? The wallet can move from there. Right Peter there. Shift that you don't like a lot. Oh bro, Peter Shift was a freaking mad man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Yeah. You know, actually, out of all of them, yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm, cool. I, I dig Peter Schiff. Man. Peter Schiff cool. is super smart. He's cool. He's cool. Smart guy. Intelligent guy. Listen, the only thing he needs to do is just remove gold and put in Bitcoin, and he's got it. Like it's, I don't know, but, but other than that, man, very impressive guy. I learned a lot from that. It's incredible. You know what I mean? So, but um, at the same time, okay, it is okay to disagree with people and still be cordial. Like Warren Buffett, yes. the like fact, Charlie Munger. Yes, the fact that you learn from someone doesn't mean that you cannot disagree with them as well. This is what makes people grow. Even though this is a kind of a volatile thing to do in today's environment, but most of the people today, Jesus Christ, I don't think they can catch many people on their worst day. On their, yeah, so it's, uh, it's Dave like, Ramsey, for example. This <laughs> 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 uh, is Dave Ramsey is ancient, you know what I mean? But hey, psh, listen, here's the thing. I want to talk about this Bitcoin situation and and uh, Warren Buffett as well. because here's th this is what is dangerous about this. They keep putting these guys on TV, okay, all the time. Yes, and so I just want us to discuss, right? Uh, uh, at least examine some of his views, some mm -hmm. of Munger's views, um, as he critiques Bitcoin, because it is very important that if you're watching some of his stuff, you should not take his uh, I guess his words as gospel, right? Take it with a massive grain of salt. What are your thoughts? I totally agree. Um, by the way, if you're watching, comment, let us know what you think. But I do think that even those that you really, really uh, ex uh, inspire to be like, I, mm -hmm. I love Redalio. Yeah. But what he did this past week was like, oh my gosh, how can you be my virtual mentor and you're talking like this? What is so, it? Oh, Bitcoin is nothing. It's just tin here and other stuff, and that, 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 there should be another coin. Oh, okay. And then it goes about explaining Bitcoin. <laughs> I guess the, is, the, is the Dalio coin coming out? Uh, hey, trying to create the Terra 3.0 or something hey, man, like that. Listen, man, that's always how they start. Yeah, but, yeah, but to what you're saying, like, you don't just get the information. You should be able to analyze and decide by yourself. Yeah. And that is what the education system is not teaching a lot of students. They're just teaching you to just accept it as what it is. And that's, I think that's what we have with the issue of the economic situation that we have right now. Right. That people just think inflation is normal. Uh, yeah. That they just think uh, interest rate hikes and, and decreases is normal. 
And like, no, it should, it's not normal. Ask those questions. And we're here in this video asking why is someone as smart as Charlie Munger so anti-Bitcoin and mm -hmm. so against the, the, the intellectual and the technological uh, impact that Bitcoin yep. is making? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to throw a wrench in this conversation as well. Let's do that. Because I also wonder if this guy is just confused. Okay. Oh, 99 years old, confused kind of thing? Because oh. he's, some of his views on the thing are also contradictory. Hmm. Right? Let's begin with one. Uh, one of the things that uh, Charlie Munger has said okay, uh, is that he claims that Bitcoin is undermining the Federal Reserve System. Hmm. This would imply that Bitcoin is a successful growing technology. Okay, that is what that would be saying. If it's a threat, on the other hand, he's also said that Bitcoin is going to zero, which is implying that it's failing and poses no threat to the status quo. Wait a second, I just thought of something. So, what is that? Because these thoughts are usually the ones that if you don't, if you miss it, then it's gone. So, speak. Federal Reserve System. Yeah. Bitcoin is undermining the Federal Reserve System. Do you know how old the Federal Reserve System is? Yeah, it's ancient, isn't it? 1903. Jesus Christ. So it's just about the same, well, maybe 20 years or more years older than Charlie mm. himself. Than Charlie Munger. Mm. So it's a new system. What says that it cannot be replaced? Systems get replaced all the time. Systems they get overtaken all the time. Yeah, changes definitely. And we all know what has happened since the Federal Reserve System, yeah. central banks, <laughs> got implemented into our economy. Right. Crazy inflation, change in fiat systems. This is... It's, it's for civilizations and civilizations, right? We've seen that. This has repeated itself over and over again. I would say that we're just at that point in time again where it is time for another new system. Another new system. Ray Dalio himself said this. Yeah, he had this in his book. He did a whole book. Dude, I watched a, almost a down near two hour video of this guy describing this whole uh, 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 cyclical thing. With, oh, I like, see why some people don't want to get hold. Intellectual dishonesty, man. It's out here and it's rampant. That is what I would put all these guys under. So, listen, we need to know then, uh, Mr. Monger, I don't know, he's not watching this video, obviously. Is Bitcoin a threat to the Federal Reserve or is it going to zero? Because if it's going to zero, then the Federal Reserve does not need to worry about it. I think this is only an indication that he's confused. I'm not very sure. However, he's being used as a tool, possible, to shaking the to markets. Spread, to spread the FUD. Yeah. But you know something else that bankers do best as well? What is that? I was just saying this on Twitter the other day. It's 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 a skill set that they've learned yeah. to create and implement Ford at a very 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 strong using the media outlets that they have. Even Ford did the same thing when Ford came out with this truck. Yeah. Created all those Ford about the the us carriers and all that stuff, right. so that people can adopt and adapt the Ford motor vehicle. And I think mm. the bankers are doing the same thing here. Is that as they're pushing this Ford, this same guy is invested in a bank in Brazil. That is extreme. It's a big Bitcoin adopter in right. South America. Ch uh, 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 Ray Dalio says he has Bitcoin, but at the same time, it's pushing forward. Maybe he didn't buy enough during the last down. He's expecting it to go down to 10K. He never went to 10K. So it's now pushing that forward to say Bitcoin is nothing to allow it to, the price to compress a little bit for him to accumulate more. It's a, it's a, it's a educated, it's a, like you, like you said. Intellectual dishonesty. Intellectual dishonesty. They know it, but they're playing the game. Yeah. Before I go to my next point here, which I also want, you know, uh, we can touch on the fact that uh, Munger is heavily invested in China as well. Um, Ooh. Right. But before we get to that one, I also want to point out that we did our TA uh, last year mm -hmm. when Bitcoin started falling and people said it was going to 10K. Mm -hmm. Some even said 9K. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, but they were, I, don't, I think I was on the General Crypto Show. Yeah, and somewhere else, and I said, you know, I don't think I don't see it going to ten k. Mm -hmm. It has not gone to ten k so far. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take victory lap early. <laughs> okay, I don't want to take victory lap early, but I just want to let you guys know that our TA is still on point. I know we've not done TA in a while, but you must understand that our TA is 
you know, superior TA. I mean, we just laid a line there and then, you know, eventually the it's rest of society old. catches up to it. Oh, it's an old, it's old. Exactly. And it's holding. There's a chart that we drew last year. Yes, sir. The chart is still going well. It's still old. It. Minus the little part where, like, we started tumbling from 60 something. <laughs> but, yes, but after things recalibrated, right? Right, because there's just listen. There's black swan. The there's black swan events. That's yeah. part of the market. Okay, Freaking FTX and yes. Terra Luna. Maybe there will be another black swan event. Bring it. But until that happens, Tether. our TA is holding. Now, Let's go back to uh, this guy. And can I uh, can I can I brag about you a little bit? What's that? This guy over here buying the bottom of Bitcoin and the bottom of Tesla. Yeah, I've done this Keeping three times. Keeping all humble. I've done this, I've done this three times. about it. Yeah, I've done this three times. You know, hey, I got I probably got lucky. <laughs> you know so but you know hey if you want to know how to catch the bottom call me 1-800 we're buying the bottom I'm kidding <laughs> no, no, we, we actually do have a stack trading course for that yeah, we just but, don't advertise it yeah we don't advertise it but if you want if you want to know how to do some trading whatever man hit us up we got you you know what I'm saying but that has nothing to do with buying the bottom you know what I mean so yep. I appreciate the uh, compliments sir it's really really nice man you know because you know, people don't get to see you know, the genius at work sometimes, but so is life. And now, and you don't need a master's degree for that. Yeah, you don't need a master's for that either. <laughs> you just need a brain. <laughs> and we all have one. That's the thing. And this is the thing, same thing. And I was telling my brother this is the other day. She was like, listen, man, your brain is your biggest asset. It is. Self educate. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we we have have been around and had to take on projects at various points in my life with people that uh, appeared as, I don't know, how would you put it? The Harvard types, prim and polished, if you will. And, you know, and, and those people were impressive. <clears throat> but then when you start, when you get in the ring and you start throwing the punches. Time for action, <laughs> not just reading the books. Yeah. It's a different story. And that's exactly what we're doing in this video. Yeah. Anyway, all listen. the smart folks following Charlie Munger. Exactly. I, I, you know, uh, here's what I know. Okay, it is clear that Munger is obviously out of touch with society, mm. and I get it. Not many of us are billionaires. Okay, I put this one on vibrate. Didn't you know I mean? That's Charlie Munger calling him, folks. I, 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 it's like, why are you doing that I, video about that, me? That is actually the alarm to feed the fish. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, look, um, Munger is out of touch with reality. The guy's a billionaire. Much success to him. Enjoy it. Okay. It is admirable all the things that he has achieved, but I don't think that the things that work for him work for the ninety nine percent of us, right? He's in the one percent. Yep. Please, we all have to note this. Yeah. Is the thing gone again? Yeah. Okay. And so with that said. Okay, the way our society is set up right now, we have this sort of system where the wealthier you are, right, or the more influential you are, it seems that your opinion carries more weight. However, on the Bitcoin network, okay, it is mathematics, it is verifiable facts on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. And that is the only thing that matters. You should rely your facts and your decision making on this information that is available to you. We did a video where you saw you could track the blockchain transactions, transactions on, the blockchain, on the blockchain. Right. So as much as these people want to make it sound like Bitcoin is not going to be going anywhere, here are some facts. You want to drop on me some facts, sir? Yeah. Okay. Bitcoin is now accepted by over 17,000 merchants and businesses around the world. Just think about it. 17,000 merchants globally. This was at zero at some point, and this was like within less than this. I mean, the, the, the growth rate is rapid. So, when you talk about growth rate, is Bitcoin adoption faster than the growth rate of uh, Chat GPT? Yeah, Chat GPT is a beast, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's anything that's uh, you, you, well, but then you say there would be nothing that would beat that one, then something else comes through. But on a global scale, I think Bitcoin is still topping them. That's a fact. Yeah. I'll give another good one. This one's actually very relevant to what's going on in Argentina, in Turkey, right. in Nigeria, for example, where they just changed the currency overnight 
and now you cannot access your money. Bitcoin is accepted by a growing number of ATMs and payment processors, including PayPal and Square. So you don't have to rely on the big wall, big building yep. to access your money. It's virtual. Digital money. Absolutely. You know, it used to be voice over IP. It's now money over IP. Money over IP. Chai, chai. Dang. Bim. Think money about it, folks. Notes. I love it. Over 100,000 users have opened the Bitcoin wallet in the U.S. in 2020. So in the U.S. alone, yes. over 100,000 people have opened the Bitcoin wallet. Oh, that, was, that was 2020, though. And that was just like rapid. That Out was three nowhere. years ago. Yep. So imagine what happened with this old FTX madness. Mm. <laughs> I gotta go look for that. I gotta, gotta, look, gotta, gotta go look for yeah, that number. Do, again, it's chain analysis. You go on there, not chain analysis, but you can look at chain on chain data, mm-hmm. right? And there's a lot of uh, companies that provide this sort of information, and you will see it right there. You don't have to wait on the Federal Reserve to come tell you that this is what job numbers are right now. Yep. You know what is insane? What's that? The fact that f- job numbers are updated a long time after mm-hmm. it's happened mm-hmm. when literally. You could be streaming job data live. On the blockchain in 2023. Even, even without the blockchain, okay? ADP and all these uh, companies that do HR stuff, right? They have that data live. It can be streamed with this. With no, the it's a centralized system. You know how that works. They need that information for themselves so they can make some certain trades before the rest of the world gets it. I understand, right? Yeah. But then that goes back to that great thing, which I think that for the sake of the global economy. They mm-hmm. talk about the greater good, right? Mm-hmm. This is why people join the military and sacrifice their lives for the greater good. Mm. Fight somebody else's war. I think for the greater good, okay, these companies can share relevant information to allow the government to make much more quicker, better relevant. decisions. But at the same time, you also have to ask yourself if these, uh, if people like Federal Reserve are actually moving in the interest of the people. Because I've never ever actually seen the Federal Reserve make decisions that actually save the economy once. No, they create so, the problem and then yeah. they try to fix it. Huh? Like imagine the Federal Reserve wanted to crash the job markets. Yeah, and they were saying that outright too. Like we want you out of your effing jobs. And guess yeah. what? The job market is still old and tight. Say no, there we was, need this job. We're still was, recovering from was, COVID. There was demand destruction. They all sorts that. of things they man. did that to real estate they did that to the motor vehicle uh the the, the car industry yeah but job markets are holding up man yeah. i mean microsoft google all of those guys laid people off but the job numbers are still high as a matter of fact we're the lowest we've ever been in 15 well, years well here's an actually an interesting thing too they actually changed the way they calculate job numbers mm. so Cheat code. who really knows what the number is move the goalposts yes <clears throat> it's garbage Carry on, sir. Back to some Bitcoin stuff. This is kind of old data, man. It for, is, it is for, old data. Okay. 400 million transactions in a day. We do more than that now. I know we do more than that right now. But the reason why, one of the reasons why I specifically went for these yeah. is because these people have been saying, Buffett and, and uh, Munger, Charlie Munger, they've been saying this for a long time. So you have to look at data from when they started, especially around the time when they started saying this thing. Right? We're not going that far back. But mm-hmm. back then when they were saying it, <clears throat> these were the numbers. Where we are right now is obviously significantly higher than this. Yet, these people are still saying the same thing. Further proof of either the intellectual dishonesty or just the ignorance. I think they're just the barking back because they're coming for their money. This is coming for their space. Yeah. You know, you have the current powers and you have a new technology that is coming for you. Yeah. Would should you... Actually, that's that's one thing about human beings that is funny. You rather fight an innovation that is good for the general people and you yourself, instead of adopting it and being part of that new good revolution. Why, why the fight? I'd like to remind you of a video which we just showed that said we're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. That's why. That's why they're trying to fight back. You know, they don't want to die. You know, you know, it's like, come on, man. The bankers are gonna be. The total market cap is 200 billion, which is over several big companies like Apple yes. and so on and so forth. Not over Tesla. Tesla just reached a trillion dollar valuation, by the way. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. The bottom line then is that Bitcoin is doing more good for humanity than Berkshire is. And if anybody wants to debate me on that, including 
monga i mean yeah i have to call her monga because come on this is his name is his, his name is funny too man monger like monger? someone that oh, okay. monger, yes. you know listen man bitcoin does more good for humanity and i'm going to stay on the side of bitcoin okay so yeah if, if if you disagree with that let's talk about it let us know down in the in the in the chat Chale? right you are wrong about that exactly in fact <laughs> i'd like to have a debate about it if you want to have a debate about it I'll come on prep, the show I'll man prep exactly let's use know. our spotify for, for, for <laughs> once <laughs> yes awesome well ladies and gentlemen uh this has been a nice one we hope you found some entertainment value from this one some education and remember that a lot of the things that uh, Munger says in this video are irrelevant because that's just not uh, the reality we live in today. Yep. Take some time, self-educate, man. Yes. All that ESG noise, all that energy noise, it's just noise. Exactly. It's, it's, it's the way the markets work. But Bitcoin doesn't care about the market. Bitcoin cares about your freedom. There we go. Yep. Well, let's wrap this one up, ladies and gentlemen. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on uh, Instagram, Stackfin. I'm going backwards. Stackfin as well on Twitter. And uh, oh, I feel like Monger is one of those people who is on Facebook. Oh, did you see Facebook pop back up? Did it? Oh, the stock is back up. Meta is popping. Oh, maybe some people have popped in the metaverse. Yeah, we should go to the meta metaverse. You know what? We should do a video on the metaverse and take people to the metaverse. You know, we got a stack in the metaverse. We've got some VR activity. We'll do a show on the metaverse. In the metaverse. Okay. You know, part of the culture, man, we gotta start the hood in the metaverse. Yeah. Straight drive by activity, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wrap this thing up, man. Until next time, raising out. The blow.